Now I'll tell you all that as for me, I've got all these little rolls here of little elastic bandage here and get them from the tractor and supply and they come into good use when it comes time to try to make the little thumb protectors to go around you. That's kind of for the most part what I use them for these days. There was a certain injury I had back in 2008 that introduced me to these and introduced me to the use of them. It was on my thumb for another thing, so that was kind of how got the inspiration to start using them. And those other thumb protectors I had, I tell you, you know, they were just always coming apart too easily, getting lost too easily. Even these ones made from the bandage kind of get mislaid and missing too, but as long as you got plenty of this stuff around, it's just as likely to last you, I tell you. And I didn't get a strong pair of scissors there either, so that's kind of the reason for the trouble I'm having cutting it. And at this time around, I do want to show you all little things I can kind of do to make these sounds come out just a little finer and better. And I say, I say that there comes a time when you got these little burns in here and we're going to kind of like make the little lines to cut along the pieces, take it so it's going to be the thing it's going to be when we all get straight right down to it. I say that it's going to come along and make its way to us. And I tell you all that this is just the work of the trade now. And in this way, we're going to kind of work along here on the back of the arms like I did just now, removing all those little burns and scratches and dillies. And I say, get the little place done in here, just about where we need it to be. Make a little time to work our way in. I say, I say, there's probably little works we do. Try to work along on this, make it so. We're going to see a better little Alpine St. Nicholas figure come out of this. There's probably with this one, we kind of like power carved it so much we got rid of the lines. So didn't have any burns left, but I'd say we have to get the lines back in because you know, you can't power carve everything. You kind of have to power carve to get the rough part done, but, you know, you kind of have to use a knife to do the little detailed parts. Sometimes, I say, that's kind of the way wood carving works. And with this little way we go about this, making it so the video's going to be very quite informative, like we need it to be or want it to be. I say, I say that, oh, a little work can come this way and make us so we'll see things a little brighter in the long run. Make it so we'll see things a little shinier and nicer in the long run. Oh, this work is making itself shine to us and brighten into us and Oh, I say, oh, the things that can surely, truly be. Sometimes life can be a lot of work. And the older I get, the more of that I learn, the more of that I accept. And then come down to where we make these little lines and see how old Alpine St. Nick it's going to turn out. Oh, I say, 
work is coming a long way for us. And it's all going to come out for good in the end. These are kind of among those things that sell the best. So add the work into them and get it done. I say we got those little lines cut out in here. I probably might even just kind of do this place here where we kind of power carved off too much right above the sleeves. Take care of that a little bit. Remove all that little curve in there to make it so it kind of comes out a little more separated from the rest. And whoa, I say, whoa, I say. Oh, I tell you all, this little work shell finally work away into us. And well, I tell you all this way it's going to go. I've got little ways of taking things to another next level and finally get down to where one of these days we're going to get these cuffs in straight. Make it so we're going to see a little brighter days in our work. I say this little light shall shine in us, brighten us to too much. And well, we, I tell you all that we got to round things off here, round them off and make them neat and better. So they see a little good old work in us and finally way to shine right the way down to us you know you know I finally got a little rounded off on the sleeves and now time to dig right deep into the cuffs remove all that extra little axis burning tool work in there and try to put a little more rounding off Onto the little hands, make it so he's going to be a bright little instrument of light and shine. Oh, I tell y'all that this is going to be the work of my hands. We know, I tell y'all, when I was a kid, I had this cassette tape of Glenn Campbell singing these Christmas songs and one of them was true about God. It said, one pair of hands can form, form the mountains. One pair of hands can calm the sea. It's all just one of these things where we look back and sometimes we don't know what all to remember from what we read and seen and heard. But comes down to where it's all going to be meaningful in its own little right times to us. And I say, I say that there's just a lot to learn, a lot to say for what we all know, what we all do. I tell you all that it's just come down to where little light shines brighten us. I tell y'all that this is how we're going to be shining the light in all the ways we do our little things. Try to remove little burns from the wood. We're getting it really down to that for sure. Making it so we see right what's in the wood. Making it so we see how this is going to turn out to be when we all get finished here and then by all this work we got a little time done into this and above all little things I say we got one more to do here we're gonna try to take the same little step into this other one we just worked on a while ago might do it a different way but we might try to go around the sleeves and the sleeve cuffs a little bit first and Try to remove some of those access little burns from the rotary tool and by the little work it comes down to being I say that 
this is just the light of our days, the work of our days, I say, and and I'd say that we don't know how much power carbon we'll be doing tomorrow because my little niece is coming tomorrow. She's scared of those little noises made by those tools. So we just kind of have to be careful when she's around. I mean, I tell you, nobody could stop me from running the tools, I'm sure. But I'd say the thing of it is that I, I just don't like for her to be all scared and crying. So it's just little ways we kind of got to take care of all that we do here and see how this is just about turning out to be to make it so we're going to see how old Santa Claus in Alpine St. Nick shall make its way down to being just what a carving should look like. A wood carving, that is. We got this much done along, so I say we're going to dig in down here, take this other corner of a sleeve off, go in up here, remove this other low corner of a sleeve, and I say, I say, I say, try to kind of Put it to where we're going to cut out this little triangle we did down here. Try to cut along a little cuffery and make it so we're going to see Santa just the way he is, the way he needs to be, the way he ought to be. And I tell y'all some people, this is just what it's going to be in so much of a longer ways and longer run and longer times and Oh, the tiny bit of work we all see we do, I tell y'all. Oh, work times in our lives. I say that trying we just get rid of little burning tool marks. I think it would be a good idea, even in the meantime, try to kind of do work on that part of these other two Santa Clauses or St. Nicholas figures by myself while we just um, kind of wait along for the video to process and upload. So that's where I've made it along on these. And I will tell you, both of the ones I did for this video were the two African mahogany ones. We will have the genuine mahogany ones, but like I say, I'm going to take a break from recording while I go work on those. Thank you again for watching. Now, I tell you all that there's probably going to be little steps we're going to take along on this. And there does come a time when a little carving comes along that needs to be done with the knife. I tell you one thing, gotta make sure. Well, yeah, there is my good glove. Because I tell you, I put on this bad glove because I couldn't find a good one and don't need to be wearing that one. That wouldn't be safe when you've got a knife or a couch in your hand. And I say, for one thing, we'll have to stop the video to go back and get my thumb protector.